Glory to the Lord. Glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, folks. How are you? Francesco here with another uh, video. Uh, I haven't done a video in a long time, and I don't do any videos unless I am inspired by God. I will not do any, I do not post anymore. I I'm, my walk is with Jesus Christ all the way through. Uh, ever since he's put me in the shack, the only thing I am interested in is the Bible. Uh, I am a high school dropout. My grammar is really terrible. And uh, sometimes I have a very hard time to read and I don't understand words. And I have to Google the words and find out what the meaning is. And then what I do with that is I pray and I ask guidance of the Lord because that's what I do all the time now. I've, I've learned and I've um, understood clearly and uh, with other testimonies which I'll be talking about to share with you is because you have you have to understand to the point where what it means when he says you cannot do nothing of yourself that is an absolute must and if you're walking into the faith with the Lord Jesus Christ if you are in the Lord today today and with this time right now what's going on is you have to deny yourself of this world, the worldly things that you've come to Christ and you bring in these things with you into your relationship with God. You definitely have to understand something that it is so crucial. When the Bible says, be ye not of this world, be ye transformed by renewing your mind, the extent of this is amazing. So... I take that literally, like I take that very, very deeply in, 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 when I when I read his word. Because, like I said, I'm a high school dropout. Never read any other books in my life. The only book I want to read is the Bible. That's it. It is the library. It is the first library that ever came out. Because it's a collection of books, right? It's not just a book. But God wrote the first books. God had the first books written. Now, don't... You know, I'm going to say a couple of things I might say out of mistake, like I just said right now, like God wrote this book. No, God didn't write the book itself, but you get what I'm point. my point is. A lot of criticism is happening. You know, everybody's just jumping. Everybody's better than everybody else. But let me tell you something. If you're a true God of, if you're good, if you are a true servant of God, you will deny yourself in everything, you know. No one's perfect. There's only one that is. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. So I also want to talk about uh, different things. Testimonies are going to be coming up soon. But I do want to talk about a particular topic I want to talk about today is... Blah, 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 I go over myself. <laughs> Look, I'm not a professional. I don't do this for a living. Uh, I did get myself a backdrop. And I did get myself a mic because someone told me that I don't hear your voice very well. So I went out and bought a mic. So, glory to the Lord. Um, man, I got so much to catch up on, but, uh, I'll be doing videos. You'll be seeing more videos, uh, frequently, one after another now, soon, because, uh, the, the, these messages need to be, to come out now, and we are in huge, huge, ridiculous times, so, with that said, I want to say this, that, um, uh, so, what do I do now? Testimonies. Uh, or testimonies, or no, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna do it. Testimonies, no, I told you I was gonna do it. I can't edit, I don't edit, so bear with me when I do these videos, okay? And uh, I take correction, so glory to God, I will take correction, and don't worry about that. Uh, uh, no one's perfect, only God is. So, I got to find the church. I need to find the church. I've been, I'm out here uh, alone in the, in the middle of almost nowhere, but close enough to the city and stuff like that. But I need to get to, um, I'm noticing my battery is low on my laptop. Not a good thing. Wow, I should have done this before doing this video. Anyways, the point is, we'll try to do it. Um, I want to, like, what denomination am I going to go to? Do I go to a Baptist church? Do I go to a 
a Pentecostal church? Do I go to, you know? And I've spoken to brothers, and I've spoken to one, and he's telling me, like, oh, don't deny anybody. Don't deny these places. Uh, go. You have to learn the history of things and so on and so forth. Uh, well, I get, I pray, and I ask the Lord to guide me and things like this. And, but I, when I come to read the Bible, I don't see anywhere where it says you have to follow a denomination. Because following a den denomination, what is what are you doing? What are you and what are you what are you doing exactly? Denominations are created by man. The Bible says, "Follow me, deny yourself, and follow me." Jesus said, "Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deny myself and follow Jesus." So, nowhere in Scripture it says to follow a denomination. Uh, so, I'm not going to follow no denominations. That's my take. Uh, I, I, I mean, I could say, I could go into a little bit more about it. I could go into saying, uh, uh, it's man-made. Uh, uh, I'm going to start going like, oh, oh, it's of the devil. Uh, you know, take it up with God. Take it up with God. Now, I'm open to co correction. Leave a comment down below. Correct me if I'm wrong or whatever the case may be. But I'll tell you something. I'll pray on it. I always take it to the Lord. Always take it to the Lord. I'm telling you, there is nobody that could do anything of themselves. Not at all. Not at all. So, uh, I'm going to mix in that uh, testimony with this. And I'll tell you, there's a good reason for it. But anyways, so i got to find a church that maybe on the top of it, it says, I follow Jesus only. I like to find that church. Fellowship is important, but you know we could do it online. But you know how long is that going to last? I don't know what's going to happen with that. You know, you know, there's censorship that's going on with everything. You can't talk about. There's a there's a girl on YouTube that had a prostate on her leg, and she said that they, YouTube sent her a letter saying that was offensive. It it it, it, it could give bad impressions to to people. Like what? So, I mean, there's robots that are censoring YouTube now and so on and so forth. But whatever the case may be, soon we won't be needing it at all. So, we won't be needing it at all. It, it's it, it's, cause it's going to be taken away. So, we can't do nothing of ourselves. So, I have a friend of mine, that uh, an old friend. And uh, been ministering with him and so on and so forth, talking to him about my journey with Christ and everything like that. And uh, uh, it, God's been revealing things to him ever since right from the beginning. The day that I was driving down from Toronto, coming down to Montreal, I get a phone call. And I haven't spoken to my friend for about 20 years. And he calls me up and I said, oh, wow. I said, you know, I got to talk to you about so many things. So many things happened to me. And. Uh, you know, we'll get back to uh, to to talking about what uh, what happened. And when I got uh, and then when I got to Montreal, when I met him, he comes up to me and says, um, he says this. He goes, uh, I thought that you were going to talk to me about Jesus when I talked to you on the phone. Now, many interesting things are happening. Many interesting things are happening, and this is how God works. He He will He will communicate with people even though that they're not in Christ and stuff like that. They, God shows visions, dreams. In Acts two seventeen, it, it 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 says so much. Let's go there. Whenever I bring up a verse, I'm going to bring it up because I like to speak Bible. I really love this Bible. The Bible is just the Word of God and. Hallelujah. Okay, so listen to this. So uh, Acts 2, 17. So if you want to go there, go ahead. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out, I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh, on all flesh. So it, it, it's not specifying just people that are in Christ or anything like that it says that in all flesh your son and your daughters shall prophesize your young men shall see visions 
you old men shall dream dreams why I say this now he came by to see me and visit me here I have to give him some eggs we talk about Jesus a little bit so on and so forth and many other topics right so he goes off and uh, he goes home he gets into a spin out with his vehicle and he's swaving the steering one way, he's counter swaving, he's driving, and he's spinning out, and he's going there. And he loses control. The vehicle hits the side from, from black ice or whatever it was. He slipped, it fell. The vehicle crashed, but he was still, he's still like no danger. He wasn't harmed, nothing like that. He was actually, be, he was still able to drive his vehicle home. So this is what happened. Some time goes by. And I've been talking to him and ministering with him and telling him, you know, uh, I need to, uh, he, he's, uh, he's got a situation. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep, I'm going to keep names completely out of this. So uh, he, he says that, you know, I want to speak to my son. I want to help him out. I want to, you know, like, uh, how do you save people? And it's like, I, I got to do, he's my kid. He's got to. Yeah, you know, and I and I would talk to him. And I says, I go. Do you really think you could do it? You can't. This is what I'm learning in my journey. So I'm explaining in my journey is what I've been explaining to him that I cannot do anything of myself, and that and this is so embedded in me that I, I pray on everything that I do. Now, I tell him this, and it's like so. It resonated with him, and it must have stayed in his mind, so on, so on, so on and so forth. But God gave him a dream. He's an older man. I'm an older man. We're the same age group, more or less. He gave him a dream. And this dream, he spun out with his truck. He spun out with his truck, losing control. But his hands just, he says that, went up like the truck was just going on its own. And it took back the course on its own. And he says that he doesn't retain dreams. But this dream he retained. So, is God working with him? Yeah, he's working with him. Your journey through the whole day, your day, I just say, communicate with God all the time. He's got a personal relationship with you. So, share that. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I, I want to share this. I'm saying I, I want to share this because... I find that it's it's important to know, and the Bible says to share testimonies. And why do we share testimonies? Because it's it's a record. It's a record of an event that happened. An event that happened that is true. Kind of reminds me of the Old Testament. People say, "Oh, the Old Testament, it's you know, it's just a bunch of stories." But those to stories. They're true stories. And it's amazing at how our lives revolve around the Bible. It's amazing how our lives revolve around the Word of God. And we take it for granted. We don't understand. We don't take it to heart. We don't understand. We need to understand and come to I what am I what do I want to say I, I just want to say get into the scripture start understanding the Word of God because you never know how he's gonna do something in these times he's gonna pour out his spirit to all flesh I hope this could give you an incentive in searching him, but search him with a, a true heart, a true mind, a true strength with all you got. With that, I want to say thank you. God bless. Repent of your sins, for the wages of sin is death. And wide is the path. I don't want you in that path. I want you on that narrow path. May we see each other.
so we could glorify our Lord, our King, the Alpha and the Omega. God bless. Amen. Amen.